faith. A walk of faith. And if you want to tag walking in holiness. Walking in holiness. If I could convince you, I want to tell you that the Christian life, believe it or not, is very comparable to a walk. Don't hang up, y'all. In fact, if we are to consider the text that is before us, one of Paul's favorite sayings was this idea of walking. Watch the way he says it, y'all. He says, walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. Walk not as other Gentiles walk. Walk in love. Walk as children of life. Listen, the Christian life always begins with a step of faith. Is that right, y'all? But once you take a step of faith, then you must learn how to walk by faith. Y'all can get me in a minute, y'all. So we walk by faith and not by sight. Can I convince you of another thing? Walking also suggests that you must make progress. Anybody got it yet? Uh, and to make progress, y'all, it would suggest that you are going somewhere in the Christian life. Y'all gonna help me in here? Walking also demands that you have some strength. And God has promised us, watch what the scripture says, as thy day, so shall thy strength be. Is that in y'all's Bible? Wait, I, I, I won't, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me stop and pause parenthetically to drop something off real quick so we can move together smoothly. Now, earlier, I heard some cheerleading. I heard a whole lot of screaming and hollering. Amen. I, I just got to drop something off parenthetically. You can cheerlead and you can sing, but the only thing that saves is the word of God. Let me drop that off parenthetically. So can I help you? The real cheering comes when someone actually internalizes the word of God and it actually transforms your life. Then y'all can be all lit up all you want to be. Let, let me just drop that off for somebody real quick so we can stay together and stay on course, y'all. Listen, um, but we must be sure, watch this, y'all, that we are walking in the light. Is that right, y'all? For, for the enemy, y'all, believe it or not, he has some traps and he has some snares. And if you don't walk in the light, he will entangle you in some stuff. Amen. Is that right, y'all? Of course, y'all, at the end of life's walk, we step into the very presence of God. Is that right, y'all? Matter of fact, I, I just got to stay with it. We got to walk in holiness. Wait, wait, wait. So, so let me see if I can do this. And I'm going to try to keep this as PG as I can. When you consider the moral climate of the Roman Empire at the time of the writing of this Thessalonican epistle, you find some things out that would blow your mind. Check this out. At this time in church history, there were more prostitutes in. Y'all ain't gonna help me, y'all. I'm not trying to start nothing that's not real. Matter of fact, y'all, it is more comparable to a streaking party. I know y'all don't have to go home and make the children understand what a streaking party is, y'all. At this time in the history of this church, they were dealing with prostitution. They were dealing with streaking. They were even dealing with men dressing like women. Y'all get me that? That is a moral climate of this particular church. It wasn't very healthy. Y'all gonna stay with it? Y'all gonna hang up, y'all? Immorality was a way of life. 
They was living however they wanted to live and doing whatever they wanted to do and calling it all good. But I got to tell somebody something. If you are a believer, you cannot live any old kind of way and call it all good. But there was this idea that helped them, y'all. Thanks to the fact, y'all, that this was a time of great slavery, y'all. The people had what we call a lot of leisure time. All right, all right. And because they had this leisure time, they had time to deal with the next and best craze. Right. Yeah, yeah. Let me make it more simple. An idol mine is the devil's workshop. Is that right, y'all? Yeah, yeah. And so in that day, y'all, because they had idle time, y'all, they did whatever sounded good in their day. Come on, Pastor. So the Christian message, watch this, was a message of living a holy life, right? But this message was new to this particular group of people, y'all, and to this culture. And so here it is. You have these young believers in a culture where anything goes and yeah, yeah, yeah. you want to do is all good yeah. in the hood, as they would say, Come on, come on. And all of a sudden, you have these Christians coming in saying that Shaking you need to up. live a holy life. Come on, Pastor. That, that's the setting, Come on, y'all. Pastor. They, they saying you got to live a holy life. Well, can I fast forward to our day and time? Believers of today's culture, y'all know, we are so permissive. Mm. Come on, preachers, make it make more sense. We doing a little bit of everything in the day, year, time. Uh -huh. And some of it we do it at the church house. Uh -huh. Come on, come on, money. come on, come on. Uh, and, and whenever... Believers are doing a little bit of everything. It makes it hard for folk to fight the temptation. Amen. Amen. Because folk are starting to say, wait a minute, if the church folk are doing it, y'all ain't going to get Yeah, it. yeah. Uh, can't fight temptation, then well, why, 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 why? Temptation. Come on, Pastor. But Paul, Paul, the text, the text gives us four good reasons Talk about why it. we ought to live holy lives. And abstain from the sensual lust. Yeah, right. yeah. Now, you know, I thought about this because Pastor Warren, I was sitting in my seat. And I said, it's a whole lot of children up in here. Can uh -huh. I say it like that? Come on. We can say kids, y'all. And yeah. as I was thinking about it, I said, wow. What could I say to the young people that would help them? Our young people deal with stuff different than we deal with. Check this yeah. out. When I was a little boy, the most sexiest thing you seen, y'all, was if you could find a magazine that was hid between a mattress. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go uh, on, talk about it, talk about it. Children, they can't even turn on a cartoon. I know. Come on, Pastor, come on. Come on, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Children, y'all, they can't turn on a regular double commercial. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Come on. Talk about it. Talk about it. We have to go very far. Right. We have to have an active imagination. Yeah. No, they don't need an imagination. It's all right in front of them. So I believe that this word, this word, this word, this word is, is applicable even for this young gathering. Amen. Amen. So people, there, there are four things that we need to do if we're going to walk in holiness. The first thing is you got to realize you want to please God. Please God. Amen. It is right there in verse yeah. 1. To please God. Did you know that everyone lives to please somebody? Yeah. Is that right, y'all? Yeah. And everybody wants to make somebody happy. Even if it is to please yourself. Uh huh. Uh huh. Help me here. More Come on. people live to please themselves yeah. than they live to please somebody. Yeah. Matter of fact, y'all gonna look at me funny. Let me try it one more time. Furthermore, watch this. Then we beseech you, we urge you, we beg you, brethren. That means brothers and sisters. Yeah. And we exhort you by the Lord Jesus. Right. Watch this. That as ye have received of us, watch this, how ye ought to walk. Me yeah, how yeah. You behave. Are you sure? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch this. To please God. Uh, yeah. If you're going to live a holy life, it must be to please 
God. God. Yeah. Because Come on. I'm telling you, Come if on. you try to please people, uh -uh. people's level, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Come, on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got to raise your level. Yeah. 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 You got to want to please God, y'all. Listen, listen. Uh, the reason why some of us can't please anybody but ourselves is because we're not sensitive to other people's needs. Amen. 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 I always tell folks, if you hang up the phone, at least say, by preacher. Amen. In the book, y'all, that is called The Soul of a Journey, it is by William Hastin. He says these words, and I quote him, is liberty, perfect liberty, to think, feel, and do just as one pleases. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Think That's about it. In quote, have it. we been liberated and set free as believers to do whatever no. it is we please? No, sir. No, sir. No, minute. sir. You, you do know that Jesus died. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, yeah. Uh, look, look, I, I come on, Pastor. Road. Come on, come listen, on. Listen, listen. That kind of advice would work if you was on vacation. Uh huh. Just do whatever you please, cause can't Break it down. see you. Is Break that right it right down. Right? Break it down. But Christians cannot go through life, y'all. Amen. Doing whatever they please. Amen. And never ever considering other people. Come on, come on, come on. Some folks say I'm grown and I'll be able to do whatever I want to do whenever I feel like doing it. I pay my own bills, I drive my own car, I'll be able to do this. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But can I tell you, you're not that grown. Amen. Come on. Because I've been reading my Bible and Jesus only has children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. Break it down, break it down. We all be careful about pleasing others, y'all, because it is possible to please others. Watch this, and honor God, but it is also possible to dishonor God. Uh -huh. so how do you uh -huh. know? Galatians 1 and 10 says it like this. For if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Christ. Uh -huh. Is that right, y'all? Uh -huh. And this had been Paul's attitude, y'all. And, and when he ministered in Thessalonica, even watch what Paul says in chapter 2, verse 4. Even so we speak not as pleasing men, but God, who had tried our hearts. Is that right? Pleasing God ought to be our major motive. Yeah. Can I help somebody yeah. for real? If God is pleased, everybody else is gonna be pleased. Yeah, yeah. Too many times we try to please other folk and we miss God in. Amen. If God is pleased, somebody gotta really help me right yeah. now. Yeah. Everything else will be all right. Amen. If God Amen. Is good with me. Maybe I'm gonna help you here. I know my mind is getting a little low, but it's all right, y'all. If God is pleased, everything else will be. All right. Amen. Now, Amen. I'm all right, y'all. I promise you, y'all. Listen, pleasing God ought to be the most motivating thing yeah. in life yeah. of Christian. Uh-huh. Right, come on, Children come on. Also should live to please their parents. Amen. Right, now, Amen. Come on, come on. Come on. For pleasing God and not just trying to please. Mean. Is that right, y'all? Uh-huh. Amen. They're they going to help the preacher out. Yeah. I, I told them I didn't really want to holler too much today. Amen. They're going to help the preacher just a little bit. Uh-huh. Help them a little bit. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, amen. 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 The major motivation uh -huh. for Christian. Amen. Right amen. Now, amen. I'm not trying to start nothing. If we're pleasing God, then everybody else around us will be pleased. Amen. Uh, the Holy Spirit, y'all, works in our lives both the will and amen. to do. Watch this. His good pleasure. Somehow yeah, 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 yeah. Talking back to me. Uh -huh. He walked with God. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. God called him home 
Enoch had this report, y'all. Uh -huh. That he had a testimony, y'all, that he pleased God. Yeah, 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 yeah. He says this in John's gospel. I do always those things that please, please. him. Yeah, God. yeah. So, you know, yeah. Pleasing God means much more than simply doing God's will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, yeah. God, Come, God, on. God, Come on. Come on. Come on. Watch this. To obey God and yet not please God. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. You don't no, no, no. Check this out. If you ever get a chance, look up Jonah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, say, yeah, yeah. My Bible tells me that Jonah obeyed God's command. Is that uh -huh. right? Uh huh. Uh huh. And Jonah did it with the wrong heart. Uh huh. Yeah. Right, yeah. 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 Come on. That's right. God bless his word because he actually allowed the Ninevites to repent. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. God bless Jonah because he had a bad attitude. Yeah. 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 You read your Bible. Jonah sat outside of the city of Nineveh. Uh huh. He was mad at the Ninevites. Yeah. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Because God had forgiven me. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Listen, listen. Our obedience should not be watched this with our service. Uh -oh. Come on. But as servants of Christ, doing the will of God, God. Yeah. from the heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the real question is how do we please God? Uh, or do you know how? To please God. Yes. You gotta come from the heart. Do you know how to please your earthly father? Y'all ain't gonna help me to hear that. Honor, Listen, honor. As we read the word of God. Yeah. Is that right, y'all? Uh -huh. As we fellowship in the worship of God. Is yeah. That right, and as we show up to church. Y'all did come to church today. Hey. Y'all sounded like y'all came to have church. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The heart of God. Why? Because I'm bending God's word. Yeah, come on. I in God's word. I learn more about God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll open me up to God's will. Yeah. To God's will. I know how to live the way God. Amen, amen, amen. Come on, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. Yeah, not me. Yeah. The text invites us to a second movement in verses 2 and 3 to obey. God. Obey. Obey. First, we live to please Him. Yeah, yeah. Second, the text says to obey God. Watch this. For ye know what commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. For mm -hmm. watch this. This is the will of God, even your sanctification, that you, that ye should abstain from fornication. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Come, come, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. When ministering in Thessalonica, watch this. Paul gave the believers the commands of God and, and, and he said, I'm giving you some commands regarding personal purity. Yeah. Uh -oh. Get yourself right. Get yourself right. The word command, check this out. In our text, is a military term, and it actually refers to orders that have been handed down from a superior officer. All right. Is that right, y'all? Yeah, yeah. uh, did y'all know that we are soldiers? Mm -hmm. Y'all are dressed like soldiers. Some folks dress like soldiers who don't realize they are soldiers. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Because y'all know that we are soldiers yeah. in God's army. Uh -huh. That we must obey yeah. his orders. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. No one serves as a soldier getting involved in civil affairs. He wants mm. to please yeah. his command. Yeah, yeah. 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 But in verse 3, y'all, Paul does something kind of odd, y'all. Paul reminds these believers that sexual immorality did not please God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Preacher, can you keep it PG for the children? When you consider the word 
fornication in this text. Uh-huh. It's not the normal word for fornication. Yeah, yeah. It is the Greek word pornia. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Pornia. Uh, 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 real simple. We call it porno now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's the Greek word, y'all. Yeah, pornia, yeah. Y'all. Listen, listen. He said you gotta be real careful uh-huh. with what you get involved with, y'all. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Listen. Did y'all know that God actually created sex? Oh, yeah. Preacher, fruit, they don't fruit. want to hear the text. Come on, come and, on, please. And he also has the authority to govern how we use it. Amen, right? amen. He did create it. Why did he create it, y'all? From the beginning, y'all, he established with a marriage that's sacred between one woman and one, and man. one man. Yeah, yeah, amen. Preacher, you got to say it one more time. Come on, say it. One man and one, one woman. woman. In matrimony. Yeah. Becoming one. That's how it's Amen. Amen. God has created sex for two reasons. Uh-huh. Number one, to actually further yeah, we put to you. continue the race. Amen. 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 To give pleasure to, to a sacred marriage. marriage. Amen. See, I knew it. I come knew on. It. Come on. Come on. Right up in here, our new folk was going to hang up the phone. Y'all didn't say bye, preacher. Come on, come on, come on. Because that's too many of us living real shady. Yeah. That's why you're so quiet. Come on, come on. Come on, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. Yeah, yeah. Marriage, y'all, should be honored by all y'all. And marriage, watch this, y'all. According to the Bible, the bedroom is kept. Thank you. Here. Amen. 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 Hebrews 13 and 4, whatever you get. God commanded concerning sex, y'all. Watch this. But not for the purpose of robbing you of your joy. Young people, uh, I was a teenager at one time, and then I became a young adult, and now I'm matriculating into adulthood. <laughs> and, 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 and when I was coming up, y'all, the fun things were not the, you know. yeah. <laughs> they, they, they want, they want, yeah, they, they want the. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. They, they want the, 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 the regular thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, not the fun thing. So it, it was always the idea that once I get grown, you're not going to rob me. Yeah, oh, yeah. Come on, come on. Uh, God's command is not to rob people of their joy. Uh-uh. But rather, it is to protect you so yeah. you keep your joy. Amen, amen. Come on, come on, Pastor. Break it down, break it down. I found out the fun things to get you in trouble. Uh huh, yeah. Get you in trouble that you can't get out of. Come on, come on. Get you in the kind of trouble that will stay with you longer than you want to Come on, come on, Pastor. Say it, say it. So whenever somebody tries to tell you, don't do that. Uh huh. They're not trying to steal your child. They're actually protecting your child. Uh huh. Yeah. Reach it. Put it out there, put it out there. They need to hear it. Shall not commit adultery. Yeah. Amen. Whenever you see that, it builds a wall around the marriage, y'all. Yeah. 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 Protecting the marriage and keeping the joy Safe. within the marriage. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Can I just drop this off, y'all? Listen, y'all. Uh-huh. This, this is my last one. Uh-huh. 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 Uh-huh.
Christ and life for real. Right. It may feel good today. 